Hallelujah. We worship you, King of Kings and the Lord of Law. We worship you. We magnify your name. We lift your name higher above your name, the Lord. I am not I am, I am not I am, I am not I am. What a great God, what a magnificent God. What an ancient of day, the listener. Do we compare what to you as a great God? Man, tell me, Shanalabaya Tatora, my other. Hey, Oh, why ye hina? Why Oh, He deserved to be glorified. He decided to be honored this morning. 
La Katuri Bishataya Lalabaya Lalaba. La Katuri Bishataya Lalaba Shataya Lalaba. Rikataya Lalabaya Lalabo Shataya. Likataya Lalabaya. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Release your name, my Holy Ghost. Release your holy name. Release your holy name this morning, the Lord of our God. Be thy glorified. Be thy exalted, the Lord of our God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 We worship you, Lord. We give you praise and worship God. Genuinely faithfully, he has been so faithful. Makania, why are you here now? Oh, mama, you're punishing. Makania, why are you here now? Oh, mama, Trinity, Baba, who's in your palm running? And a pair of Baba, who's in your palm running? A magnificent God, the ancients of days, the I am not I am God, but who has no beginning have end. The incoming thing, the incoming king, the incoming king. Hey. Love was silly, we had to have a
Jesus. Let's pray the Savior to Jesus this morning. Yes, we wish him a Kapora Masha. worship you this morning when your praises go higher higher and higher they ready a picture one of pain yes you are sorry or on a pain or body I am always in this one a pain I want to wear young couple I to cry for young couple on the wall do you see I was so beautiful Kokromocha ye sa ho bopo wa wona tie podo an su ka wona na se ana peji wa ye ji ana peji won comfort so in the midst of covid we are still alive we can still alive we say we praise your name we praise your name hallelujah let's put our hands together for jesus Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate him. I will worship you. Live to high above the earth. 
and in heaven I will worship you ha. Lift you high above Thank you Lord And in heaven Yes Lord You are Lord 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 You are Lord Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. I will worship you. Say, I will worship you. you. I above the earth and the heaven. Let's sing it up to Jesus, Lord. I say, I will worship you. Yes, Lord. Let's you. You. This morning, Lord, may you the earth and the Let's sing it again. Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, J
Our senior pastor, he has something to say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you want to celebrate the Lord, do it better. Do it better. Do it from the depths of our heart. Do it, do it, do it, and celebrate the Lord. He is good. Celebrate him. Put your hands together and do it again. Let's give it to the Lord. He is a gracious God. He is our God. And we love Him. Yes, we love Him. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, If not for the Lord, had it not been for the Lord, let Israel say, had it not been for the Lord, they would have smashed us down. They would have trampled us down. They would have crushed us. But the Lord, He is gracious. He is merciful. Oh, let's celebrate Mama Angie and the family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't be in the service of the Lord and God will allow the hands of that dirty enemy Satan to crush you. It won't happen. It won't happen. Tell yourself it won't happen. Hallelujah. Amen. And open your Bibles to Psalm 23 with me. I'll take five minutes of your time. Psalm 23, the Psalm of David. Theologians say this sums up the life of David. All that he experienced in his life. This Psalm sums up his life experiences. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the waters. He restored my soul. 
He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And this is the part I love. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I, 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 I will fear no evil. For thou, Jehovah God, you are with me. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Oh, put your hands on your head and receive the anointing of the Lord upon your head this morning. It's flowing here, flowing abundantly. The grace is flowing here this morning. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. My cup ran it over. I don't have enough to receive it again. I'm looking for people to receive it with me. I can share the grace this morning. Hallelujah. My cup ran it over. And surely, surely, definitely, Kudu kudu kudu, fili fili, fili gadochi. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Goodness will not come to you alone. It will come with mercy. Goodness and mercy. They shall follow me. They shall follow me. Not just today. Not just tomorrow. Not just this year. But all the days of my life. Somebody receive it. All the days of your life. The Lord's goodness and his mercy. They shall follow you. And I. And I. And I. I will dwell in the house, in the presence of Jehovah God forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Nothing will pluck me from the hands of the Lord. Nothing will remove me from the presence of the Lord. Wherever I go, I will walk in the path of righteousness, in the presence of them. Is that your story this morning? That is my story this morning. That is the story of Mama Angie this morning. That is the story of Mama Sarah this morning. Is it your story? Hallelujah. This is a wonderful year. Koro or no Koro? Your signs and your wonders and your breakthroughs, your deliverances will come through for you will come through for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you believe and you pray, believing and praying and believing, even though it may tarry, it may, it may seem as if it's not coming, wait for it patiently. For the appointed time, it will come. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You all remember some time ago, we told you Mama Sarah was transferred to Japan. And later on, we told you she was sent to Jessica. But between Mama Sarah and I, we believe she's not living here. She's coming back soon. And so, we didn't give a transfer. I said, go and serve the churches there, but you are still a member here. Because very soon, you are returning home. And Mama Sarah believe it. So from Japan, instead of coming home, they sent her father away. In Japan, the district people were harassing her, this and this. The Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of evil, I will fear no evil. Wherever you be as a child of God, God is there. He's protecting you. He's ordering your footsteps unto righteousness. They'll come one way, they'll flee seven ways. And with your eyes, you'll see the reward of the wicked. And God will elevate you. Sorry, I'm taking your time preaching. I'll finish in two minutes. Amen. 
Last year, December, I met Mama Sarah in Ho at yeah. a program. And Mama Sarah said, Pastor, I want to come back home. I said, consider it down in Jesus' name. Before the middle of this year, you'll be home. Two or three weeks ago, Mama Sarah called me. Pastor, they have reposted me back. They have reposted me back. And today, Mama Sarah is back. She's back and she's posted just in the corner here from Brown. And so she'll stay at home and enjoy daddy and enjoy Jocelyn and drive to work and drive back and we'll see her in church every time we miss you so much Mama Sarah God bless you for bringing you back well done good and faithful servant amen and so we are glad to receive Mama Sarah back So your transfer, that was not, will never be. Because you stay here and retire here. Amen. You are no more going on the wilderness journey to be tempted, to be tried, for you to come today in white. You'll be here all the time in white. Amen. God bless you so much, Daddy. We love you. God bless you for your prayers, your support, standing by your wife. And seeing her through. Amen. Amen. I also have a small story to tell. The Bible says, do not despise the days of small beginnings. Do not despise the days of small beginnings. Whatever you have started small, as a seed, the seed is the beginning. It's a beginning of great things. It has potential. And as you plant it and you leave it there, God will water it. It will germinate. Some years ago, I can't remember when, I developed a program with a famous John Maxwell. How many of you have heard the name John Maxwell before? A great leadership expert. And so, One Hope linked me with John Maxwell. And we develop a program called Lead Today. It's a program that teaches leadership, trains the youth in leadership, Christian leadership. And so we developed the book together. And I piloted it here in Ghana with the help of some of you. I mind you us part of it. And then we launch it at Tamasco. The then vice president, Emisata, the wife, and all of them, all the bishops in town were there. And Emisata prophesied. This product will be a global product. Today, I'm happy to inform you. This product has become a global product. It is being used in all over the world, every country, almost every country in the world. And seven governments have adopted it to be taught in their schools. About two months ago, one hope said, Pastor Long, can you come to the U.S. for a program? We need you in the U.S. I'm developing a new program for Africa. It's called 414. So they say, come and talk about 414. Then the second wave of COVID came. Nah, COVID-19. They say, okay, but we still need you. So there's going to be a Zoom meeting, a virtual digital meeting last week. So join us. Last week, join us. 
And so I joined the Zoom meeting. And then it came to my turn after some people have spoken. And I thought they were going to ask me to tell them what is 414 and something, something about. How we are doing it, what are the outcomes we are looking for, what are the tools we want to use to achieve those outcomes. And I prepared. Lucy typed for me some three, four, five pages. I prepared very well. Then the president and the founder of One Hope came to the stage and said, Pastor Lom, the main reason we invited you is not for you to tell us about 414. It will come at the right time. But we have invited you to honor you. And the honor is that you have served one hope for 20 years. You have served the children and youth of Ghana 20 years. You brought one hope to Ghana 20 years ago. And you spread one hope throughout Africa for 20 years. And now late today is a global product and seven countries have adopted it in their schools. And so One Hope is awarding you the highest award in One Hope, the Legacy Award. And I was just there and tears were coming. I was so taken aback. I was surprised. Something that happened, I was just doing my work. So many years ago, do not despise the days of small beginnings. Hallelujah. Amen. And I was awarded the Legacy Award. And they said, this is virtual, it's on Zoom. We are coming to Ghana in July or August. And we'll put churches together and we will honor you in front of them. I want to tell you, whatever you do for the Lord, do it with all your mind. Do it with all your mind. Do it with all your heart. For the reward of the Lord will come to you. The reward of the Lord will come to you. This week is a blessed week for Mama Angie, for me, for Mama Sarah, for you. Yours is coming so long as you look up unto the Lord and you put your trust in him, he will never fail you. I release grace into this church this morning. I release grace, grace and grace. Grace to do abundantly above yourself. Grace to achieve that which the Lord has destined you to achieve. Grace to be an instrument of praise and honor in the house of the Lord. I release abundance of grace inside the church this morning. May this grace flow even unto your children and to your children's children in the name of the Lord, the Lord who watches over Israel, the Lord who blesses us with spiritual blessings and it reflects in our lives. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. And so myself and my wife and my family, we give unto the Lord. We give unto the Lord. We give unto the Lord. And we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tap into this anointing?
we stand and lift our voice for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He! And together we sing. Holy.
Hallelujah. The Lord is good in all the time. There's one thing that we can do that heaven will listen to us. So if you and I can keep standing distance, just stand on our feet this time, and then just stretch forth your hand to see your pastor. There is some oil on him. There is some anointing on him. Just stretch forth your hand. I begin telling that, Lord, I tap into this anointing. Begin opening your mouth. Open your mouth and declare, Lord, I'm tapping into his anointing, the anointing you pour upon his life. We are tapping into that anointing. Anointing flow over your people. Flow over your people. Flow. Flow. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. We tap into this anointing. We tap into this greatness. We tap into this anointing. We tap into this global greatness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 You can take your seat now. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you that we can obey you. And by this obedience, we know there is going to be a lifting up unto your glory. We thank you that in the midst of COVID, we have one that we can lift our eyes onto. In the midst of crisis, we can lift our eyes up unto the Lord. Where our help and our protection come from. Father, secure us from this disease. Secure us from this pandemic. Cause us to live to your glory. Let our children also live to your glory. And everything the good that you have planted in our lives, let it materialize. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, O oh God, that your word comes from the need power and any might, Abba Father, that your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Christ Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. And all shall say, Amen. 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 Oh. Amen. Thank God so much yeah, for my senior yes, pastor yes, for the opportunity to preach to you. This morning, we are going to hear of some few one or two discussions about the gifts of God. Gift of God. Gift will make you and will make you who you are to be. For the past week or so, we have been studying at the Bible series time the gifts of God. This morning, the Lord says, I should go over the next point that is the same gift of God. Gift will make you who you are to be. Gift will give you recognition. Not only local recognition. Not only family recognition. But global recognition. Senior Pastor, God bless you so much. Globally, your gift will make you to be recognized. I declare to you, may your gift come up to light. May the light of the Lord throw over the gift God has deposited in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your fame will come through these giftings. Your fame, your dignity will come through these giftings. And it is God who gives these gifts. Man also can give gifts. Devil also gives gifts. But the excellence of it all that the gift of God in the name of Jesus Christ. What is gift? Gift is the thing that you willingly give you willingly gift without payment without payment it can be the natural talent it can be the natural ability it can be in games it can be in intellectual course I love games I love tennis because I like playing tennis. And so recently in the Australia Opens, we have this lady called Sel Serena Williams. Anybody in this international games know that this girl is a wonderful lady. 
Because he's, he's a champion. The younger ones are coming up. They have studied the lady. Now she is growing old. But the capacity to build your talent must be there. The capacity to grow your talent must be there. The capacity that your talent must be strengthened must be there. Because you must gain global attention. Your name will go with that gift. So this young girl called Naomi Saka. Very young lady. And when she stands... On the on 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 the on the spot, she said she gives so much attention to that lady called. Because when she was a kid, she had been studying her, watching her, and her aspirations come from that lady. But today she's face to face with her on the court. But your boldness to develop your talent, to build your your gifts. Will cause you to shoot you high. Today, this lady called Naomi Saki Saka, is on top of the world. She beats this lady Williams. And she has beaten her again. I declare to you, may your talent send you higher up. May the gifts God has deposited in you go up to the glory of the Lord. May he see the lights of the day to the glory of the Lord. But the whole thing will depend on you. How to grow your talent. How to develop your talent. It is there. God put it there. You have to be responsible. Not to make it weak. But to make it bold. But the choice is yours. The decision is yours. And you have to make it to God's glory. I'm speaking to you on the theme. Our divine gift received. Taken or rejected. Divine gifts. Are they taken? Are they received? Taken or rejected. Divine gifts. Are they taken? Received or rejected. When we say divine, then God, Godness comes in. So when God gives you gifts, do you receive the gifts? Do you have the ability to take God's gifts? The divine gift, do you have the ability to take it? And do you have the ability to reject it? Gifts, God's gift to mankind, one is life. You are seated here because of the gift of God. He has given us life. Who gave us life? He gave us life. And he said, can take that life away. We speak it so that at a point in time, you have to deduce what the author really means when he says life or gift can be rejected. What we are discussing, you have the ability to make sure that do I reject, do I receive, do I take? So, he has given us gifts. One is life. Another one is the grace. And the grace is a free gift. God again in his divine responsibility has given us another gift which is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit and his manifestation is also another gift that God has given us. The precious of all these gifts is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a gift to the world. Jesus Christ is not only a gift to the Israelites, but Jesus Christ is a gift to the whole world. And so if a gift, then to you, to your family, and to your descendants. Your success story your dignity story your destiny how successful it will be 
We depend on these gifts. The last gift that God has given to mankind. To all nations and all race and all traditions and to all families. The gift of Jesus Christ. The gift of Jesus Christ. That is what God taught it why that I'm giving to the world. Into your family. That you will receive glory. You receive honor. You receive integrity. Through these giftings. Why is God doing this? Because man has lived under bondage. Man sold the very what dignity that God gave to him. Man gave it to Satan. So man has become a slave. Man, man was living in bondage. But man, with the creation of God, must be savaged. Must be savaged. So God in his own wisdom. I will deliver, I will go as a gift to mankind. So God set his rules and his principles. He set his laws and principles. And then he happened to be under, he put himself under his law, under his principles. Though he is bigger than the laws and principles, but he put himself under his law and principles. I will come to this earth to come and save your family. Come and save you from the shame and the disgrace that mankind is going on. And then put on you the glory of God. Put on you his dignity that you will live in dignity. That when you receive this gifting, you will receive this gifting. In. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's now move to the test. Open your Bible to the book, the test, the book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Let's start from the verse number 9. John chapter 9, the verse number 9. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. The true light. That giveth what light unto every man coming into this world. Please continue. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them gave the right to become the children of God. To those that believe in his name, who were born not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, not the will of the man, but of God. And the world became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. Amen. He came to his own to receive him. I'm speaking to you on the theme. I'm speaking to you on the theme. Do we receive? Do we take? Or do we reject the divine gifts? Divine gifts, do we receive? Do we take? Or do we reject? Amen. And this is the gift that God has given to mankind. That mankind will hold on to this gift. We will master this gift. You will master. If you don't become a master, you will not gain recognition. I declare to you, brethren, it's high time we get to see the plan of God to mankind. We are in the last days. And God has spread out his plan. We keep on saying that Christianity is second to none. Because eternal life is in Christianity. Other religions have this life. But not eternal life. And so, you must master the giftings God has given to us. You must master it. You must make it bold. Be bold. You must receive strength. Because if you don't master it, you become weak. 
the enemy will kick you out. And we kick you out of the church. We kick you out of your family. You will not be recognized. But I declare to you, may you receive the boldness of the Lord. May you receive the strength of the Lord. In these times of crisis, by mastering, the advanced dictionary says that you receive authority over. Authority over. Over what? Over the works of darkness. Over spiritual wickedness in high places. Over destructive activities. It says to them that has received the power of God, the gift of God. To them gave he power to become children of God. If I have become a product of God, he says that the children of God if children now become a product of God, and if I become a product of God, I have received strength. I have received what we call power. I have received conquering power. I have received that which is also victory. I have gained victory. Then what is left for me now? Hold on to the truth. And leave it to God's glory. You will never be put to shame. You will shame the works of the enemy. The Lord will lift you up. The Lord's glory will be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only you have to watch your behavior. Watch your conduct. Watch your abilities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Israel made a serious mistake mistake. They did not understand what you are hearing. And so they were sent to exile. They were sent to exile. They stayed there for 70 years because they didn't take what God has given to them, the gift, they did not receive it well. They went to exile. Another exile is coming. And that exile is for us as Gentiles. But when we hold to this gift of God and we master it and by hearing God's word and by living it and by taking our study seriously the promises of God shall come to pass fully in the name of Jesus Christ. There's another exile coming. And that exile is going to be more serious than ever we talk about. And it is the exile of hell. May we not allow history to repeat itself. God is in his business. And we must know one thing for sure. God's gift will receive God's gift. Please, let's quickly look at 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. He who sins is, is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was, was manifest, manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ came to do what? To destroy the works of the devil. So if I have become a product of God, I shouldn't sit down and begin to say and be weeping and mourning. No. But I must destroy the works of the devil. The things that I see are not going right. What is not going right? God is listening to you. He has partnered you. He wants you to speak. Speak. Don't keep quiet. Declare to yourself, I will speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand on your chest. Say, I will speak. I will declare and destroy the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will lose. And heaven will accept. And I will bind. And heaven will accept. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lose the good things for my life and my, life and my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Moses was standing. And the Lord was ready to listen to Moses. At the, at the Red Sea. Moses speak. 
And he was there for the miracle to happen. As the product of God, we carry the unction. We carry the power. May we not be sitting down and wailing and weeping. When we receive Jesus Christ into our lives, he gives us that unction that we will go far to the glory of the Lord. I keep on saying that God wants his glory to be seen in your life. Your family members have not seen anything yet. Ghana has not seen anything yet. Trinity Temple has not seen anything yet. yet. But I declare to you, may you stand up to your faith. May you enrich your faith. May you hold on to the Lord and declare to yourself that in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be okay to God's glory. God wants to listen to you. May you speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He has given us that ability that it must be done to his glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. He has made us covenant keepers. He is a covenant keeper. And so as we have accepted him and we have received him, we must work wonders. Brethren, we must work wonders. I declare to you, you must work wonders. The way you came to meet your family, your family must not be the same. The way you came, you were born into your family. Your family must not be the same. If your family is the same, then you are failing. You are failing Jesus. Your family must see progress. Your family must see academic excellence. Your family must see the talent of the Lord. It is your responsibility. As a child of God, as a product of God, Ghana has not seen anything yet. Your village people has not seen anything yet. Please stand up to your responsibility. In the name of Jesus Christ, we hold the key and the key is receiving Jesus Christ and holding up unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, every good and perfect gift comes from who? May you receive them. May you receive them. But sit up to your responsibility. This gift, we cannot take it. Who can, why can't we take it? Do you know why we can't take it? Let's look at the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Acts 2 30, 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized. Repent and let every one of you be baptized. In the name of Jesus Christ of, for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gifts of of the Holy Spirit. And the gift of the Holy Spirit is the gift of God. That God has given Jesus Christ to us. And you can't put Jesus Christ and go and take anything. And, and for the devil to tell you and then for drink for what? Because of crisis, Jesus is there for you. Jesus is there for you. May you hold on to this glory. He is the gift for the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. But he says, before you can take this gift, it is not everybody that can take the gift, this gift. One of the principles is that unless you repent, unless you repent, and unless you believe God, it's not all men that can repent. And it's not all men that can, can believe God. But you, God is looking up unto you. For Trinity Temple. For your family. For your community. God wants to do wonders. Not for only this generation. But the generation to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so he says, unless there is repentance, so we cannot be weak if you are weakling and you think that the goodness of the Lord, the, 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 the goodness of the Lord and the better things God has put into place, you can go and take it. It can be it's so Unless there is a believing system. Unless there is, because Satan cannot believe God. 
And those that worship demons cannot believe God. But you can. But at times you make we make mistakes. We make errors. We make blunders. And for that matter, we, we think that because I'm a half Christian, my leg is here, my leg is here, I can go and take what is due <inaudible> the believer. You can't take it. Do you know what God has put into place for us? Let's look at Revelation chapter 19, verse 7. Revelation chapter 19, what God has put unto us. That in the midst of all this, that what is due the believer? He says, let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. For the marriage of the lamb has come. And his wife is ready herself. Is made ready herself. Yes, continue. And to her, it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright. For the fine linen is the righteousness acts of the saints. Amen. The, the NIV says, let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. Fine in bright and clean, was given to her to wear. This is what God has put in place for his children. If you have not repented, that marriage is out. And the thing that I promise in there, you can't take it. I declare to brethren, may we stand clean before God. May we stand clean before God. Avoid of mistakes, errors. If I say mistakes and errors, Things that we do that displeases God. Let's avoid it. And let's seek the divine issues. Let's our mind tune on to God. And seek the things of God. Begin to remind yourself. Lord, the wedding. Lord, the wedding. Revelation 19, 7 says, the wedding is coming on. The very, very, very soon the wedding will come. Very, very soon the wedding will come. It's just at the corner. I declare to you, may you be part of the wedding. May you be part of the wedding. It's going to be glorious. And it starts from now. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive the benefits of this wedding. May you receive the divine protection in the name of Jesus Christ. All that is due you, the benefits and the greatness of this wedding, which is due you, may the Lord give it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh. So this, if you have not repented, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, you cannot take it. You cannot take it. Let's look at Acts chapter 11, verse 17. At 11, verse 17. So if God gave them the same gift he gave us, who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could stand in God's way? This was the time when the Jewish state, Israel, thought that Jesus Christ was meant only for them. They didn't know that this great gift was given for the whole world. And so, the, Samar the good Samaritan then asked, not the Samaritan, but the centurion. The centurion, for me beside. the centurion sent people to go in for Peter. That's the, oh, the angel of the Lord told him. Centurion. Go bring Peter. So when Peter came, and then Peter was blessing them, and they received these giftings. And they started speaking in tongues. That power base. They thought it was only the reservation for they, the Israelites. It was there they realized that, no, God meant business for the whole world. That is why they declared. So when they call Peter, Peter, how come? You are sharing the gift which is for us. You are sharing it with the Gentiles. Hey, Pao. Are you understanding me? When they say power, you understand it. Say, no, 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 no. 
It is God. We were in the business and the Lord of a sudden, God gave them the gift. And they started in tongues. And he said, ah, now we know this gift is for the whole world. This gift is for the whole world. May the benefit be given to you. May it be a blessing to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can this be rejected? Can this be rejected? Are divine gifts received, taken, or rejected? Can this gift be rejected? I tell you, many are rejecting these gifts. Many are rejecting. But the time is coming. They said the L, what, LGTV and the rest of them. Are we getting the picture? And today, they seem to be gaining prominence by on, on the airwaves. That is why you feel the sympathy. You see sympathy. Because what is ahead and is coming. You see, God demonstrated the exile the Israelites went through. He demonstrated it. And the second exile that is coming is meant for the whole world, especially Gentiles. Because we Gentiles don't believe the gift of God. And the gift of God is God himself. He himself, he came down himself. That is why we say the son of God. Not that God has a, has a wife. That he, God, he came under his law and he gave his own to liberate us, to set us free, that we will prosper. It will be well with us to his glory. And we are rejecting him. As John 1 says, he says, the, the exile, this second exile is what we call the hell. And it is real. And it is real. Brethren, we encourage one another. Let us receive this gift. And let us master this gift. Let us grow in it to the glory of the Lord. Let's look at what First Peter Two, seven to nine says first Peter chapter two. First Peter two. Now to you who believe, he's telling you you have believed in this gift. So to you who believe this, this stone is precious. Which stone is this? The stone that God has given unto us, Jesus Christ. But to, continue, to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected. This gift we don't reject. That is why you and me have to do more evangelism. Because, you see, the Israelites, they went to exile for how many years? How many years? 70 years. But the next exile is going to be forever and ever. The hell is going to be forever and ever. It's forever and ever. And that is why the Lord opens our eyes to see. He says, this gift is precious. Let us not joke with this gift. Let us labor. The way we labor for the food we will eat. Our life here is very short. But eternal life is forever. Let us labor for that one. Let us work hard on that one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who do not believe. The stone that the builders rejected. Has become the cornerstone. And a stone that causes people to stumble. And a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message. Which is also they were destined for. So this is what the Lord is saying. Because people have disbelieved God. They don't trust God. The stone will fall on them. 
and they will begin to cry. No, the distress will be so much. But let us hold on to this no, one. What we have received is precious. Let us keep it. Let us work hard on it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us work hard on it. The Lord will continue to bless us. Let's look at John 3, 36. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever believes in the Son. Who is the Son? The Son is God himself. That metamorphosed. That transformed into this world so that you will benefit. I will benefit. We are talking about your children's children. Brethren, let us labor hard for our children. Your success must reach your children. It should not be a case. Say those that rejected the stone became a very hard and then fall on them and crash them. But whosoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see life. For God's wrath remains on them. Amen. 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 Oh. Amen. What are we saying? We are saying that let us grow our faith strongly and strategically. Let us not take that we will live anyhow. Disobey God dishonor him, do whatever we like and think we can take the gifts. It is not possible. And it, when you reject the gift also, it is your germination. But if we receive, as we have received this gift, it is for destiny. It will bless our children's children and we shall see the glory of God. What he has planned for us, it is so great. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Just come in, commune with him. The divine gift, are you receiving it? And how are you receiving it? Are you working hard on it? Don't think that you can live anyhow and take it. Don't think that you can please yourself and take it. And if you reject it, you're in trouble. Now tell the Lord, Lord, please make me bold. Make me courageous. Make me powerful. That I can stand the test of time. That this gift will be a benefit for me, for Trinity Temple, for the body of Christ, and for the church at large. The Lord bless us and strengthen us. In the name of the Father and of the Son, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. I thought you were clapping. Was that all you can do? Thank you very much, Pastor. May God bless you. Amen. A suffering time. Today we are taking two offerings. The second one will be for Brother Nyaku, Emmanuel Nyaku, who lost the mom. We are going to give it to him. So that second offering will be for Brother Nyaku. And then the other one will be for the church. Um, church Trinity Choir. Okay, Trinity Alive. 